Yeah, so, so, did I throw this team together last second? Yes, most certainly I did. Is it still an absolute banger? Yes. Am I going to put on a Halloween costume? Yes. The scariest thing I can think of. But yeah, we're just running. Uh, fun fact, fun fact about this team. Um, I, I, like I said, I threw it together at the last minute. <clears throat> and a, uh, a byproduct of that fact is that I couldn't think of a proper item for my Trevenant. So instead of running ghost coverage like any normal Trevenant player would, I'm running Frisk, Trick, and a tin of beans. I'm honestly not taking this seriously at all. Is my team a little tryhard because we're running Dragapult, Colossal, Liopard, Hatterene? Yes. But I did put a Mawile on there and my Trevenant has a tin of beans, so this counts as innovative and fun. I promise I am an innovative and fun guy. Um, I suppose in the back here, uh, I wouldn't mind running... You know, let's bring, let's bring Beans Trevenant. I think Beans Trevenant can do something. Mm, yeah, I'll go, I'll go Beans Trevenant and Hatterene. Why not? Actually, is this like one of eight games where Mawile might be able to pull something off? I'm going to say yes. Uh, no, I'll go, I'll go Hatterene. <laughs> Trevenant with the can of beans. Dude, I'm not taking, I'm not taking Spooky Cup seriously at all. I just... I want to have a fun little stream where I can wear a Freddy Fazbear thing on my on my on my face and just like play Pokemon with bad with bad strats. So yeah. This weekend's actually homecoming at the school I go to, so that's fun. Gonna go to a darty tomorrow with my FNAF hat on gonna be lit all right trevenant with the beans <clears throat> bean boys exactly grim snarl so valley um that looks like so valley flying i'm pretty sure i can just check by if it's if it's ice or flying, I'm I'm in like in a perfectly fine position. Uh, I mean, I'm literally just gonna do my thing. By the way, I'm scarf Dragapult just because I don't feel like getting outsped by Spectre. Let me check this really quick. Um, that is water. That is water. I think. Yeah, that's water. Peep this. I knew there was a reason we brought Beans Trevenant. I knew there was a reason we brought the Beans Trevenant today. Why Dynamax the Colossal when I can just go for the Bean play? This is high level Bean based esports. Yep, there's the Dynamax on the Sil Valley. I'm probably gonna get Max Geysered, but Trevenant's decently bulky, so. Yeah, I, I know I know that Spectre can outspeed like Dragapult only with a scarf, but I'm still paranoid enough and care so little for the Dragapult set that I just put a scarf on it anyways. Gonna get in my Hatterene here. This is this is not Spooky Cup. This is Soup Cup. I've never heard of Spooky Cup. That sounds like um, that sounds like made up. I I'm 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 willing to bet you made that up. Never heard of Spooky Cup in my life. Let me trick room here. Um, I'm relatively certain I'm gonna lose my my hat. But I can just get this this Dynamax. Yeah, bean soup. It's bean soup. That's why it's soup cup tonight. 
Eat your beans, you can be strong like Freddy Fazbear, kids. This is not a good angle for me. Honestly, I think <laughs> this is the stupidest live stream I've ever done. This is, this is probably the stupidest live stream I've ever done. Is there Hyper Bean? I, I sure hope so. I sure hope we can see some Hyper Bean action. I can't wear this mask. Not for extended periods of time. Max Geyser, probably onto the hat. As expected, why does that do nothing to hat? Like, really, why didn't it do anything? That's in the rain. I mean, I'll take it. I got my trick room off. I, I think I just win at this point. I, I click Dazzling Gleam. Fun fact, um, <laughs> a byproduct of me being an idiot and not running a ghost move in exchange for being able to trick people tins of beans during this tournament. Um, I, I I can't really hit that Naganadel for much more than like a Max Quake, which obviously like Max Quake's gonna be doing a lot because I'm running Bulldoze. Uh, I'm running Bulldoze because I, I really like being able to proc the uh, weakness policy on Colossal under Trick Room. But still, this is literally a 110 base power move. Like that's just, that's just sad. That is sad damage. Is this like not EV trained? I, I'm willing to bet it's not, just judging by like the fact that it literally couldn't knock out a Hatterene in the rain. And that's a that's a strong max move. Or it could be coming off of like water pledge and it's like really weak. Anyways, I'm gonna say we probably win this. Thanks to uh I really want them to look at my team, by the way. Just so they can see that I was carrying a can of beans on the Trevenant. But I do want to take a look at their team and figure out why that didn't KO. Like, I think I would have been fine regardless, but it did so little to everything that I'm like, what? What's going on? Grim Snarl. Yeah, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say this is game over. Especially since they're undynamaxed. Grass Pledge? Yeah, then why didn't that KO? If they're, if they're definitely running like multi-attack, there's no reason that shouldn't have KO'd. Any other theories as to why it didn't do anything? Alright, yeah, that didn't KO either. Sucker Punch on Sovali, or on Grimmsnarl, sort of implies they got a weird weakness policy somewhere. I forget what else is on their team, but... I'm gonna say that's literally just to activate a weakness policy on some random Pokemon. Alright, because there's, like, no reason to run, like, dual screens, Sucker Punch, Grimmsnarl. Beyond that, in my opinion. All right, um, my Dynamax should be ending this turn so I can end this game off with the power play of tricking the Mechanic Beans. So I'm really hoping they just stick around. Oh yeah, I win regardless. Please stick around, sir, please. Uh, I can Dazzle Gleam and trick the beans. Please stay. Please stay. Please. I need I need this. Yes. Okay. They should survive this. They should survive this. And for my final trick. Your beans, sir. <laughs> your beans, sir. Happy Halloween. <laughs>
This is the most unhinged live stream I've had in a while. And I'm I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Uh, Atrix, thank you for the sub. Get this dude some soup. Dude, it's soup cup. It's soup cup, man. And he just got bean boozled. I'm bean boozling people tonight, man. Yeah, no, you can't. After you lose to the beans, Trevenant, you just can't. You can't do it. <laughs> you gotta. You gotta really just forfeit there. So beans, Trevenant, currently undefeated. Granted, we played one match for at least a while. Do me a favor, keep a bean counter. I'd really appreciate a bean counter for the stream. All right. Um. They they really have so little for Colossal here. They really got so little for Colossal, and I don't I don't even got to lead off with it. I'm actually gonna go Trevenant Colossal so I can activate a weakness policy under Trick Room. Um, I can bring Wild Wild just for. Just for funsies, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring the Hatterene. Any plans on BDSP VGC content when it drops? There's probably no actual VGC for a Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, but I'd have to be an idiot to not like capitalize on it for content. I'm, I'm definitely gonna be making some like double battle videos and try to see if we can get like an unofficial VGC league going up. I'd love to do that. Mimic you Tang Growth. Um, chances the Tangrowth's got a ground move? Not certain. Not certain. Uh, should be able to... I'm gonna say it's special. I mean, I don't know why you're running Citrus Berry, all things considered. Uh, let me max Flare you. And I am gonna Bulldoze to lower my speed. I'm gonna hope they're just not running a ground move. Because if, if they are running ground move Tangrowth, you know, shame on me. But if they're gonna stay in and not be ground move Tangrowth, Shame on them, you know? That's just the way I see it. I don't think Tangrowth learns Earth Power, and I, I don't really see a reason to run it in any format right now. At least in doubles. Especially Soup Cup. We don't need any dirt in our soup. <clears throat> just beans. Oh, I'm faster, so it's probably just dead? Yeah, cool. Um, they're gonna set up Trick Room on me, and then I'm gonna be like slower than them, slower than whatever comes in at the very least, because I'm a colossal at minus one speed. I am the silliest goose in this game. You can't compete. Everybody knows Moxie Boosted is confirmed silliest goose in all of VGC. Uh, I'm only running like 36 speed as well, so I want to say I'm slower than this thing. Oh, I'm definitely slower than a Marowak. I, I gotta be slower than this Marowak, otherwise I'm gonna lose my mind. Um, Trevenant is probably not slower, but I'm not going to pass up this beautiful opportunity to remove their, uh, Thick Club and give them a can of beans. Cause if they are slower than me, if they are actually slower than me, I can just give them some beans and then Marowak's no longer a threat because it's got such a garbage attack stat. So I'm willing, I'm willing to make this bet. This is the Moxie boosted bean difference. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. That's not going to help you here. Are they? What if they were like weakness policy for some ungodly reason? If they were weakness policy, Marok, I'd lose my mind. Your beans, sir. This is the only actual, like, you can click taunt in Pokemon. You can click taunt, right? But this is the only actual taunt in the game. Yeah, Delmize is the weakness policy Pokemon, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say I'm a little slower than him. 
Hey, Hatterene. What's poppin'? Anyways, uh, you drop to this. I'm gonna say it's a beans into forfeit moment. Nope, not beans to forfeit, that's fine. They're life orb, okay, cool. What's with the tin of beans? It's funny. Listen, this is this is soupy cup, and it's it's a Halloween celebration. I have to give these kids something, and if I can give them a, like a, a nice little can of legumes, well, I think I've done my part. Bye, mimic you. Ah, it's just barely gonna live. If I was getting beaten down and then someone tricked me a tin of beans, I quit Pokemon forever. <laughs> All right. Time to solar beam. Time to solar beam. Give me my beans back. Got to him hit him with the solar beam. I just noticed that uh Colossal drops a little chunk of coal when he uses solar beam. Nice. So, Beans Trevenant, 2-0. Oh. oh, now this, this team is going to be a little bit more difficult to Bean Boozle, but I, I believe in us. I believe in us. I think we can Bean Boozle them pretty hard. Um, my last one. I can probably just go... Hmm... I actually wouldn't mind Lyapard in this matchup. But uh, probably better off going Hatterene. We haven't clicked Lyapard once, even though Lyapard's like just such a goaded Pokemon. Obviously not as top tier as Thievil is, but uh, we still gotta respect Lyapard. Respect words do, Lyapard's great. I also need to click Mawile at some point. I haven't used Mawile yet. We have to find like that one opponent with like a really poorly structured team that loses entirely to Mawile. Haven't found him yet, and I'm having too much fun clicking beans. Um, but we'll get to it eventually, I'm sure. Grigovish and the boy. Um, I mean, I'm definitely faster than Dracovish. These things are typically Scarf. I'm going to go for it. Uh, this might be a little bit of, of a throw if they uh, trick room here, but I can play around it. Yeah, I should be faster because I'm 56 speed Colossal specifically because it outspeeds um, Dragapult. And the 50, you actually only need 55 to outspeed Dragapult um, after Steam Engine. But if you're running 56, it also outspeeds anything speed crept for Dragapult. I, I could have put in the Poltergeist on Trevenant, but I don't know. Also, this is where uh, this is where Scarf Dragapult comes in handy because I'm, I should be faster than this uh, than this Scarf Dracovish. Which, if I if I recall, Scarf Dracovish is actually the same exact speed as Dragapult. Like base seventy five at one point five times speed should be the same as like max speed drag. So they're probably expecting to be able to KO my my Dragapult here or my Colossal, but they cannot. And now I should be faster than that thing, and yes, I am. Goodbye.
I was expecting to see a lot of um, a lot of Dracovish, so I put the scarf on the drag. Max Rockfall. Am I gonna live this? Probably not. I actually have a lot of HP. Oh, it's on Dragapult. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Scarf. I I always forget Dra uh, Dracovish speed tiers. Isn't it just barely slower then? Because it, it's only by a little bit, if I recall. It should only be by a little bit. Anyways, I got the rocks up on the field. I haven't. I have a new number on priority, and it's named um. Name Nihiligo. Or I could always save that for later. There's their Dragapult. Um, I'm going to say they protect their Dragapult here. I'm going to max guard. Obviously, they have a pretty competently built team. I can attempt a Trick Room next turn. Adarine should eat a hit. I'm expecting them to protect Dragapult and go for the max rockfall on my Colossal. That just makes sense. Unless they're not running protect, obviously. Alright, can you protect your Dragapult for me real quick? Sucker Punch. Hello? Max rockfall? Okay, that's honestly fine. Because I want to get a Trick Room off here. And I think Hatterene can take the hit if Dragapult ate the hit. So I'll go for the Vocalith. Yeah, and I'll Trick Room here. Yeah, that's what it was. It was just barely not enough speed to outspeed Dragapult. So it didn't matter. Max Rockfall. As Colossal just straight up tanks, so I'm cool with it. They haven't been able to get a KO yet this game. Hattery not looking terrible. There's the Insin. Now, obviously, a fake out could be coming my way here. Are you winning, son? Dude, everyone's getting bean boozled today. A take no prisoners. Take no prisoners, bean boozled kind of day. All right, let me protect. I'm going to get in my Trev. Definitely want to keep Colossal around, actually, to beat this um, Incineroar in the end game. I might not be able to bean boozle him if I want to win. I definitely need a horn leech. Uh oh. Please tell me it went into my colossal. I feel like it should. Wouldn't make sense not to. Yeah, it would not make sense if it did not. Take more damage. Um, I don't see much of a reason not to heat wave here. Actually, maybe I just go straight into the boy. Maybe I sack. Actually, no, Dragapult's going to be really important for the end game. In case uh, I don't end up playing a Trick Room end game. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Bulldoze here. Because it should actually do a decent amount to both of these. And I'm not confident my Horn Leech will do it. Is this my play? Uh, I'm going to do it. This is kind of... Uh, it's kind of iffy. Kind of iffy. Meteor Lean versus Lean Engine. This is mainly just to get Nihiligo in range of like everything from now on until he had. Oh, or I just I could also just KO. I could also just KO it. That had to be a crit, right? There's no way you just drop to regular Bulldoze. 
Or maybe it does. Maybe it does drop to regular bulldoze. Okay, we win. That means I can end the game with the with the beans. With the beans. He's he's about to get bean boozled, dude. I need to bean boozle this man. Otherwise, I otherwise this whole game, like it, it wasn't a victory. It'd be a hollow victory if I don't bean boozle. All right, my play. Reverse the trick room. Bean boozle on the final turn. I need you to just burning jealousy again for no reason. No! We couldn't bean boozle him. We straight up couldn't bean boozle him. Yeah, those uh the the power of beans boosted the bulldoze damage. Yeah, I know it's got paper-thin defenses, but it's also like non-stab spread ground move from a Trevenant. So that was surprisingly high damage. Okay, um, this looks perfectly bean boozleable. Bean 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 boozle a bull. Bean beanable boozle. Beanable. So we're gonna go for it. Um Scarf Dragapult, Trevenant, Colossal. The usual suspects, as I like to call them. Uh, we'll go Hatterene as well. I think we can Bean Boozle. I think we're, we're fine. You played this person yesterday? Nice. Nice. Dragapult and Cinderark? Big mistake, buddy. Big mistake. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb. Say I can just target down this Incineroar. Or not Incineroar, the Dragapult, probably. I mean, Incineroar is definitely safer, all things considered. But I'm concerned about, like, Surf Dragapult. <laughs> I, I can't get that, that very niche set out of my mind. Like, special, like, Hydro Pump Dragapult. Okay, they're Dynamax and the Dragapult, that's what I figured. I just couldn't, I couldn't get that very niche set out of my mind. So we're gonna get the Vocalith off, which is great, and hopefully we can end this game with a bean trick. He's definitely banking on winning the speed tie, but he doesn't know that I'm Scarf. So this would actually be a pretty bad turn for my opponent if they didn't max guard. Oh, I'm sorry, young one. I too have forgotten what fake out. <laughs> I too have forgotten what uh, Dynamax did for this metagame and fake out's viability. Dude, I'm not ready to go back to Dynamax format. I absolutely hate it. Like, this is Dynamax format. This doesn't feel right anymore after playing, like, good Pokemon for, like, the past two months. Yeah, that feels so satisfying. Ooh, I clicked the rock move. Yay. <laughs> I clicked the rock move and one shot is Dynamax. Now he loses. Woo. I suppose I can uh, raise my spirits, but is that leftovers? Never mind. This guy cheered me up. Uh, I suppose I can raise my spirits by going into my Trevenant and clicking trick beans. And that'll make me feel a lot better. Honestly, I hope they set up a trick room on me. I really hope they do. I, with all my heart, want them to set up a trick room. If they're freaking... I'm gonna get rid of you because I'm more scared of you. If they're running leftovers in Cinera, does that mean they also have Protect? Muscle Band, okay. That's not a terrible item. There's definitely better items for it, but not a terrible item. Oh, 
close combat. Oh my god, we're gonna live that, which means they're gonna have they're gonna have the slightest bit of faith that maybe, maybe they can win. And that's when we trick the beans. FNAF will be real in one turn. Happy Halloween, by the way, guys. Happy Halloween. Like, I am just having such a great time streaming tonight. This man is about to get bean boozled. Please don't forfeit. Oh, yeah. We get to bean boozle one last person tonight. <laughs> Sash. Oh, dude, you. Can you, like, not KO my Trevenant real quick? Okay, can you, like, not KO my Trevenant with, like, a Fire Blaster or, like, an Overheat? Can I? Because that would really, like, ruin my night. Or I, can, I should live that. Oh! Oh! Trevenant, you have one job. You have one job, Trevenant. No! This is a hollow victory. This is a this is a hollow victory. How am I supposed to win without how, how am I supposed to be happy without my beans? We're going to do one more. We're going to do one more. That guy hacked me. There has never been a worse hacks moment in the history of Pokémon than what just happened to me in this game. It's true. You might not like it, but it's true. Which is stronger, technically. 70, 140, uh, 50 times 2, that's 150, so that one's stronger. Schmeteor Beam. I know I could have clicked Heat Wave, but Schmeteor Beam's funnier. Because I think this just KOs anyways. Yeah. We're going to do one more Bean Woozling. I need, I need to trick a third Bean 